When I moved back to Michigan in 2019, I truly did move to rural America. And part of the challenge of moving to rural America was internet. For the past four years, I've relied on a service called DMCI Broadband, which basically is a wireless connection to another tower that for many years would only give me 15 megs down, 3 megs up. It was the price to pay to live in rural America. While not everyone will want to live in rural America, this is where I chose to hang my hat. About a year ago, Starlink became available in my area, and it really changed things from a connectivity standpoint and being able to work from home. As many of you know, I have an office with high-speed internet, which is about 15 miles away in a, a municipality of about 25,000. Starlink has really changed things here at the house, but it really hasn't been the ultimate solution. At times, working from home can be an advantage. Of course, with the point-to-point uh, -point solution that was on the tower, it was nearly impossible to have Zoom meetings and really be very productive and downloading uh, big media files and so forth. But I think I found the ultimate solution. About a week ago, the point-to-point -point service let me know that they could up my speed to about 40, 40 down and about five up for an additional $20 a month, which made a lot of sense. So now I have the dilemma, what do I do? Do I keep Starlink? Do I keep the point-to-point? -point? How can I use both? Then a solution really presented itself. And really, this is the best solution because when it rains, Starlink can go offline. And the point-to-point -point has been pretty weather resistant. Recently, I was listening to an episode of Mac Geek Gab, and I was made aware of the Unify Dream Machine. The Uni Unify Dream Machine from a geeky technical standpoint is an absolute dream. I mean, literally, this is the ultimate device. And what it has really solved is a solution for me here. Now, what I have up on top is I have the Starlink coming in, which is no longer acting as a Wi-Fi device. It's, it is a, it's now a bridge. So that is, this unit here is plugged into the primary unified dream machine broadband port, just like any other modem would be. And then here is a connection that goes to my secondary internet connection, which is the DM, basically the point to point solution. And then this is a Wi-Fi 6, basically antenna that allows you to run, uh, connect to it through your Wi-Fi devices. So, what I've got isn't really an overkill solution for a home, but what I've been able to do is load balance these two connections. So it's set up so that Starlink and the point-to-point -point solution, which is, comes from a company called DMCI, the traffic will go, will select. It'll basically decide which route is best from a connectivity standpoint. This acts as a firewall has security precautions, and also is a switch. You'll notice this switch here, while on, doesn't have anything connected to it because this really handled all the ports. I've got a Synology here that's connected into this device. This is for a wise security camera that is outside. So really, and then I have also have um, a point to point to another building, and I'll show you that. This is a TP-Link wireless bridge, and what it does, it sends a signal over to the red barn, which is about, uh, you know, 150 feet away. That allows us to have, or me, to have wireless connectivity while I'm in that building and also have security uh, cameras and so forth. I've got a TV over there and, you know, basically just the ability to work in the shop and have connectivity. So this is wired back into the Dream Machine as well. So now with the Unify Express being used for the connection between um, the DMCI, the point-to-point -point solution, and I really have all my security cameras directly connected to this, which is kind of an interesting 
uh, thought process too is because I can still use this standalone while also having this at the same time being used as a load balancer for stuff here that I've got connected to the Wi-Fi 6 port here. And really so far I'm finding this is going to be a really workable solution. Um, I was on low end modems before so which was you know for slow speeds like this this again maximum download speed of well today now 40 and about five up where starlink varies from day to day and really i found here where i'm at they must be at saturation because i never get speeds um, that are from the from the starlink terminal to the antenna more than 100 megs down but once you go wireless it's typically about 40. So, but a great solution now for an area where just four years ago, I was stuck on a 15 meg down, three meg up connection. So for any of you that are rural and having this type of solution, and maybe you're gonna back up, maybe your backup connection could be um, some sort of uh, like T-Mobile that's a base station or something like that. So now I'm pretty confident that while I can assign traffic to either port individually, I've got the ability now to do business here in an effective way. And while this is a little bit overkill from a home solution, in, in my opinion, for me, this is, a, this, is, this is a pretty fantastic way to go. So all you got to do is go over to UI.com, go to the store. You'll see here is the Dream Machine Pro. Yes, again, a little bit expensive, but boy, oh boy, for the solution I'm employing it here, uh, worth the money, $379. And then the second device I have is the Unify Express. So there is some debate on whether or not to, at least in my internal thinking, whether I should have bought this device, but for how I'm using it, it's a perfect solution. Now, you could just go with a little more inexpensive Cloud Gateway Ultra, and that probably would have done it. Now, this Dream Router, um, that's always out of stock. I just, that thing is never available, so the solution I went with was that. And then on the Wi Fi side, the antenna that I bought was the U6 mesh. And uh, again, I, I am in, in a unique situation here um, in, my, um, in my living area. I'm in a loft, so it's an open floor plan, 2,000 square foot open floor plan. So one U6 mesh uh, works good. But if you have a home that is bigger and you have you know Wi-Fi issues within the home, this is the way to go for that. Now, for those of you that are want to plan for the future and have a home where you can mount these ceiling mounted devices, that U7 Pro, um, depending on, again, the home size, two or three of those uh, would really knock things out. But again, definitely an expensive solution. But here's the one thing to remember as a takeaway. While the Dream Machine will probably last me many, many years, I can update antennas and equipment and add on because they've got switching, they've got cameras and security, they've got you know, door access stuff. It really is, a, a, this is a great company, great product. Um, I wish I would have found them much sooner. So uh, thanks to Dave and the guys over at MacGab. Uh, and uh, that podcast, and definitely subscribe to it. And of course, I hope you subscribe to my podcast at geeknewcentral.com. If you like what I've done here on this video, uh, follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely appreciate it if you do. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, I hope this has helped you out.